Lovers of freedom, men and women of goodwill, conscious people, wherever you are all over the world, I will say good evening, good afternoon, good night to some of you, depending on your time zone. Wonderful Biafran people across the globe, I welcome you once again. This is Radio Biafra Extra, and we are streaming live through Radio Biafra London, being anchored by the deputy leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Mazi Uchi Uka for Mefo. He is from Abatete. Abatete is in Anambra State. And Anambra State is Biafra land. He's the man who have assured us that he will not allow the heart of this project to see corruption. Mazu Chuka for Mefo is standing on a deputizing capacity on behalf of our Supreme Leader, 
Mazenan the Ukukano, the Prince of Afari Beku, heir to the throne of Ibeku Kingdom, the one and the only man who stood up to speak for the collective interests of the Biafran people. For almost 60 years now, nobody has been able to do this. By the grace of Chuku Kikabi Amai Remen Jojuni Be, I am from Abo. Abo is in Delta State, and Delta State is Biafra land. As always on this segment, it is titled Back to Your Root. Back to Your Root. Because believe me, considering everything that is happening around the globe, those who succeed could only be traced back to us walking in the principle and lay down rule of their ancestors. And those who have failed, like Africa has failed, are the only people who abandon the way of their ancestors. Believe me, Britain colonized India. Britain colonized Nigeria. Britain colonized China. Britain colonized Japan. Britain colonized most countries of the world. But every other part of the world where Britain had the privilege to colonize them, moved on. They went back to their root. Chinese and Japan, a very good example of people who honor their ancestors. And if they are evil, why are you driving their vehicle? Why are you using their, 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 their technology? I thought they are evil. And I tell you, the most fascinating aspect of it all is India. Unlike Nigeria, Britain gave them religion, they gave them fashion, they gave them language during the colonial era, and they gave them God. At the end of colonization terrorism, India rejected the God of Britain, they rejected the fashion of Britain. They reject the language of Britain. They only embrace the technology. But I tell you today, God will bear witness that Britain cannot stand against India. Even one community in India will send Britain to hell. Of course, Britain know how to lobby. But the power of lobbying for Britain is dead. Everybody know who they are. Who are they going to lobby? But then, in the case of Nigeria, Britain colonized Nigeria. And after Britain has gone, Fulani and Yoruba hold on to British God. Fulani and Yoruba hold on to British language. Fulani and Yoruba hold on to British. They took everything from British, only technology. They practically and outwardly reject technology. Because they want all of you to remain stupid and foolish. So they can bamboozle you as they wish. That is why Facebook is so disgraceful and dishonorable to the extent that he plays so low to the level of Nigeria. Look at Facebook. Very frustrating animals. But of course, when you talk to Biafrans, go back to your roots. They begin to speak big, big English. May the Lord be with you. That is all we have to tell you. And so on this segment, we try to awaken your consciousness to make you see the reason why you must go back to your root. Because as it was in the beginning, so shall it be in the end. There is nothing new under the sun. But of course, as always, we must continue. Our team on this segment remain back to your root. And our topic this evening is simple as or for no good. Or for no good. Most people don't understand what it means. In my own dialect, we call it Ofole Ogu. Ofole Ogu. Ofole Ogu. Then in the central Igbo, they call it Ofona Ogu. And so the difference there between the central Igbo and the Eka Igbo is na. The central Igbo we say Ofona, and we will say Ofole, Ofole Ogu, Ofona Ogu. Then the Kwere Igbo or Iheronha Igbo, however they choose to be addressed, they will say Owo. And so when the Igbo man say Uji Ofo, the Abo man will still say Uji Ofo. 
and then the query man will say ujoho ujoho ujofo with the same the same thing and of course in every tribe in biafra land they understand what that means but for those of you who don't understand we will make you understand because that is why we are here or for no group that is our topic this evening the name means something strange the name look as if it means something strange to many of you but it simply means justice and equity and when somebody comes out to address the crowd he say i come here with the truth and justice nothing more my hands are clean we may have symbol that represent justice and truth but of course in the law court they have the symbol of justice it is a woman that is blindfolded with a sword and a scale a scale on the left hand and a sword by the right hand that is symbol of onugu in Uyibu version and then in the black man version they they can tie stick and tie anything and put anything and so the symbol of justice truth and equity in every family is handed over to the first son because the first son is under oath to make sure that he lived on by the legacy of his ancestors to make sure that as his fathers and mother we are truthful that he remained true to the end and so as the person with your four of the family you are simply placed under oath to make sure that truth justice and equity prevail in that family and some hold this mantle of justice in the community it is to ensure that as a community leader only truth justice and equity will prevail and you will bear testament to the truth and nothing more and then when people of dignity and men of honor when they stand and they will tell you i am moving with justice i am moving with truth i am moving with equity that is what it meant nothing more nothing less until yoruba pastors told you is evil colonial master told you is evil or for is evil because everything concerning us as a people have to be demonized are we going to reject it until it is demonized or for no good simply means oath taking it is an art of making a promise or a vow the person with all four the person with ogu the person with this staff of justice has only made oath taken an oath it is somebody that has been placed on oath it comes in form of staff staff we call it a way it's a walking stick you do not carry it because you are old you carry it because it's a symbol of authority and only men who sound a claim can bear this symbol. And that is why you see our leader, Mazen and the Colonel, the veteran handed over the staff of this struggle, Biafran Restoration Project, to him, Ojo Fona Aga. And not until he is considered dishonorable and that staff taken from him, any of you that will rise up against him, Ofonogu will kill all of you. The spirit behind justice equity will come after all of you because there is a god that sits in heaven and preside over the affair of man and so they give you a symbol in form of walking stick and the moment you stand it before any congregation most especially from your kindred or your family members everybody will know that they stand between god and man and they are under obligation to say the truth it could only be expressed in form of oath taking and that is what is leading us here today today when i say jimofona aga many christian brainwashed by yoruba we say this is a for how can you use ofona aga because it comes in Igbo name and british government has demonized it how will you know the implication there but most of you do not know that for god to still remain god he is carrying ofona ogu is a god of justice a god of righteousness and that is what he simply mean he ruled by the power of his word for he can change everything 
He is the unchangeable changer, but he will never change his word for any man. That is on fall, he will hit it on the ground. I am that I am. But it could only be expressed in form of oath taking. Oath taking is an art of making a promise and a vow. However, it is not as simple as that. Because all taking is not just about making a promise. It is about declaring that that promise or vow upon something or someone sacred to the person taking the oath. For or for no good to be powerful, it must go beyond taking oath. For this oath or vow must be taken on something you hold sacred. I want our people to understand where we are coming from in order to appreciate where we are going to. This has always been the basis of justice, truth and equity, commitment and discipline for our people in the ancient time. The presence of our Fonogu, as it is called in Igbo land, is known as the old ways of allegiance, which is necessary for the survival of our people for as far as there is good, there will always be evil. The very foundation of the world was actually created or laid on betrayal. And as a result of this, it necessitated to the fact that all taking become very important. Now let's go back to the Bible so you understand where Ophonogu is coming from. God created the word. In some Bible scholar, it is called the pre-Adam age. And that was before the creation of Adam. And some of this reflection could be found in the book of the prophet Isaiah, Jeremiah, and the rest of them, and Hosea. He said, after God created the world, Lucifer was empowered more than every other angel, given every privilege to rule over God's creation. But something went wrong. He betrayed the staff of office and he was cast down on earth. To cut the long story short, he was in the Garden of Eden, according to the Bible, where he deceived Adam and Eve. And as a result of that, Adam and Eve were cursed, according to the Bible, ignorantly. And upon the face of the earth, they wander like vagabond without the presence of God with them any longer. But along the line, God have to, according to the Bible, reconnect to humans. In the days of Noah, he made the vow. Having destroyed the world out of anger because of their sin, he made a vow. He placed himself on that oath and said, I will never destroy the world again with water. In for Obuugu. Of course, there are communities being ravaged by water, but God didn't say so. He only said the world will never be destroyed by water. That is why those of you who are Christian will know. They say the Bible say that he will destroy the earth with fire, no longer water, because he's bound to fulfill his own words. He made a vow. And then you move on to Abraham time. When he chose Abraham, he placed Abraham under a fornogu, under covenant, under oath and empowered it. And that was the symbol, or it is the symbol of, sacrifice, uh, of, of circumcision. And so the moment you are circumcised, you have become part of that covenant under the law God gave to Abraham. And it is amazing. Our fathers did not read the Bible. Most of them has walked the earth before the Bible was written. But we have been generation of circumcision as far as we can remember. Why is it that the promise of God to Abraham in the Bible is not evil? And you think of Fonogu is evil. If you don't know the implication of this thing, that is why evil men still rule our land. Because if we acknowledge the presence of Fonogu, most of them will be running naked in the street of Biafra today. I tell you, many people you are praising and singing their praise will be running mad in the streets of Biafra land today. Or maybe they will be in one asylum, psychiatric home, because they will never be cured. And you continue to the time of Jesus Christ. 
The first thing he did before he ventured into the ministry he came for was to introduce a phone ugu. The platform for covenant. That the people of God may be empowered, placed under vow and oath to remain truthful even unto the end. And so when Jesus was ready to launch his ministry, he gathered his 72 disciples and said to them, now it is time to move out. But I want to tell you, you must eat my flesh and you must drink my blood. Without this, you cannot follow me. The 72 disciples started grumbling. Is this man a witch? Is he a wizard? How can he ask us to eat his flesh and drink his blood? Is he a cannibal? But Jesus said that is the standard. And the Bible said they were confusion in the midst of the disciple of Jesus Christ. That that very day, 70, 60 of them left out of the 72, remaining only the 12 disciples. And he took bread and wine and broke them and said, eat this. For it is my flesh that will be broken for you. Drink this. For it is my blood that will be poured out. It becomes the symbol of a Ugu for Christians. That is why in those days, without Holy Communion and Catholic Church, there will be no confirmation. Holy Lin saw, that is a Ugu. And it is expected that the moment you take this Holy Communion, you don't commit sin again. In fact, we were so terrified that if you commit sin and you go and eat Holy Communion, you are dead. The same way you cannot carry on four and come out and lie. You think if governors in Biafra land, are there with Ofonogu, they will, many of them will be dead by now. The Ofonogu they are carrying is for Fulani. The oath that is controlling your governors in Biafra land, almost all of them, it is their legend to Awosa Fulani. And so when we tell you about Ofonogu, you must work very hard to make sure that this Ofonogu will be reinvoked into our community. And then at the end of the day, the level or issue of betrayal continue. It is because there is a fonogu in the present acknowledged by Christians of the old. That is why despite the fact that the Roman terrorists massacred Christians, all the disciples of Jesus Christ died honorable, horrible death. Only one of them was not murdered. And that is John the Beloved, the author of Revelation, who was banished to an island somewhere in Japan, known as the island of Patamos. But he has actually suffered a great deal of persecution, boiled in palm oil, hot palm oil. They practically wanted to fry him, drag him with horse, but he couldn't die, according to the Bible. And then they took him all the way from Middle East to Japan. They sailed so far that even though he managed to come back, he will never know the destination to his place. And that is how he landed in the island of Patamos, located somewhere around Japan or China. But these people did not betray because they were under oath. And then that leads us to the aim, the purpose of this study. Because some people will say, what does he have to do? Go back to your root. Today in IPOB, we call you to take oath. And believe me, we have different type of oath taking in IPUB. We do not shy away from it. You don't know the meaning of oath. That is why you are, you, 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 are, you are deceiving yourself. We have the oath we read each time we come to the meeting. Those of you in IPUB, you know it. It actually raises issues of concern about me when I joined IPUB. That was then in 2014. I was not in the meeting that very day, maybe being the third time I'm coming to IPOB meeting. And somebody reported me that uh, I refused to take oath. And it was amazing. And I came, I said, why wouldn't I take oath? I didn't fight to defend myself. I told them, before I will say anything, I must take that oath. If I don't take that oath, we will not talk anything here. And of course, they brought the oath, and we read the oath. If I betray IPOB or our leader, Mazen Nandekano, the Chukokikabiama wiped me 
and my generation away. Destroy us completely. But this oath may be talking to me, but it is also talking to our leader. Because the day any of our leader will betray Biafra, Chukwu Kikabiyama will also wipe away their generation. Is that not what oath is all about? That is of fun, Ugu. Your hand must be clean. At the end of the day, it is said that when a leader is dishonorable, he, the people are removed from under oath to obey them. And so it is as simple. I am here pledging that I will never betray the struggle. Nothing more, nothing less. Anything aside that, I don't know. And I took the oath. And that is the oath meant for every member of IPUB. If you are not taking that oath, you are deceiving yourself. You must take that oath. Because there is a two-way relationship in IPOB, in case you don't know. There is a two-way relationship. We must understand the role of Ofon Ogu, and then we stop deceiving ourselves. When somebody tells you, Ejim Ofona Aga, this is not info. These are men and women of integrity. They are telling you that their hands are clean. The British couldn't penetrate our communities because those who were assigned to defend our community, to protect our community, they were moving around with the symbol of justice, truth and equity, known as Ofon Ogu in Igbo dialect. And then we took the oath. On daily basis, there are need for more oath. And we got to the era where we have to go to Aruchiku. The very throne of the Levi's family where we worship our fathers worship Chuku Kikabiyama. Some people have even created their own Aruchuku. Some call it a full name. Just to hide their sin. But those of you who are IPOB members, you will know that the people who went to Aruchuku are not the same people who went to Igwekana. Watch the character of people who actually take out as directed. You will see they don't mess up. But one of the people who have invented their own oath, they, they are just gossiping and blackmailing and backbiting. But all of them will be purged. Because there are certain things they say, oh, we shouldn't say it is evil. Who did the hell knows evil? What is evil by definition? And so when you talk, sometime I ask you, have you been to Aruchuku? You say no. My relationship with you has changed immediately. And so you are a principal officer of IPOB here in Biafra now. You have not been to Aruchuku. Just look for where go there and stop deceiving yourself. But this is what ensured our survival as a people. Nobody go to Aruchuku and come back and be yapping and messing up. Some of you are behaving the way you are behaving because you have not been to Aruchuku. If they are hitting or fall on the ground for most of you, you will run mad. Why are our governors and all of them misbehaving? Because somebody told you of Onogu is evil. Once you measure it in your dialect, it becomes evil. But yet, all of you are carrying a funogu everywhere. We must go back to our root. It was not surprising to me. And we will take oath upon oath upon oath upon oath even to the end of time. Because if the reason why we are in IPOB is to betray Biafra, and then we have never been with them. And our fathers and mother has never been Biafra. And now let's go back a little bit. When I was about to be ordained as a pastor, they gave me a form to fill. I served the church. The same church I gave my life to Christ was the same church where I was brought up as a disciple, was the same church that ordained me as a deacon. I started as a house fellowship teacher. From there, I became a deacon. I was a member of the steering committee. Before I was ordained reverend, the same church, I didn't go to 100 church. The general overseer is from Delta State anyway. I was properly doctrinated. I should say I am one of the most disciplined church member that church has ever known. Most of them are listening. But of course, they have the right to call and say, no, you lie there. I don't lie. They gave me a form and they say, fill this form. Let your wife endorse it. And the form was simple. 
That if you judge on eBay, you betray this church. Let Jesus Christ kill you. That if you judge on eBay, you decide to come and carry our member and open your own church. Let Jesus Christ kill you. If you say amen, say amen and let your wife support the amen. But most of you don't know because you are not a pastor. And so when I saw the oath of IPOB, I understand. They are all the same thing of Fonogu. I signed. Everything I need to know, the limit and the extent of my right was written down there. I still have the document of the church constitution. I followed it to the letter. And so if church will place me on that oath, is that not of Onogu? And then why is the oath of IPOB making it look as if it's evil? And then we move ahead. I was arrested some time ago in Lagos State. Celeb bus stop. They said I was uh, parking, uh, inconsequential parking. I don't know what that English is anyway. I was taken to a mobile call in my two ferry. On getting there, there was a mobile court in a democratic setting waiting for me already. And they gave me, uh, 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 set me before mobile court. Of course, they put you under a, a phone, Ugu. Are you a Christian, Muslim, or pagan? But I'm a Christian. When DSS arrested me, they presented me before the magistrate court or Supreme Court or whatever court it is in Porta Court. They also asked me the same question. Are you a Christian, Muslim, or pagan? I said, I'm a Christian. And then they give me Bible. And I begin to swear. Not be swear with they swear. I swear by Almighty God that the evidence I shall give in this court, before this court, shall be the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. But did we come to lie? It is true that they too don't swear. The people putting us on that oath may not swear. But the oath we have taken has condemned them already. That is why if their hands are not clean, they are dead as a people. And that is when Jesus said, he that put his hand on the plows and look back, is not worthy of the calling. For you to be a governor or occupy any position in Nigeria, you must be placed under a fornogu. It's just that it depends on where the vow makes you to be, where your loyalty lies. Our governors in Biafra land normally run to one certain in Sokoto, one emir. They place them under the oath. They bring Awosa of Fonogu, Yoruba of Fonogu in our land. And then they are not loyal to their ancestors. They are loyal to their people. If our communities in Biafra land, we say from today, anybody going to represent us politically must be placed under oath. I tell you, you will see the transformation that will come in Biafra land. Of course, they will kill many of them. But I tell you, our life will be fine. But they are not under a fornogu of Biafra land. They are under a fornogu of Yoruba and Awosa. And then their loyalty, their allegiance can never be for their ancestors. The purpose of oath taking is as simple. To make sure that everybody mind their duty post. To make sure that everybody mind their duty post. When somebody say, I am a man under authority, it simply means I am a man under oath. And that authority, that oath, it's geared towards achieving something. These people, governors and the rest people, they took oath to protect us, to make sure that we have everything that requires basic and life amenities. They took oath, but the oath was not to give it to us, to take it away from us. Because if not, the Afra land would have been developed by today. And so the essence of oath is to make sure that you still have men and women of integrity standing to defend an institution, an organization, a community, a family, as the case may be. The oath can be taken anywhere you want the oath to be taken. It really doesn't matter who it is out, but it sounds for a purpose. You see men and women who are under oath. They don't confess. They don't confess. Terrorists don't confess. Instead of them to confess, they end their life. That is out. That is out. But you have to confess. 
the secret of what we do remain with us. It's not meant for anybody. Only those who can take after from us will get it. That is old. The advantage of oath taking is because if everybody is under oath, we will trust ourselves. Our fathers operate on this level. Have you ever wondered how different people with different language were able to stay in a particular terrorist for of terror? How did they call it? Territory for over five thousand years, and yet they did not destroy themselves. In less than hundred years of one Nigeria, we are destroying ourselves already. We have existed as Biafran for over 5,000 years before Britain knew there was anywhere like Africa. We did not destroy ourselves, but less than 100 years of creating the zoo called Nigeria. Look at how we are tearing ourselves apart. The advantage of oath taking, it creates room for unity, trust, transparency, fairness, justice, and equity. That is of Onogu. But the disadvantage of not having it is that he empowers lunatic, mad people and saboteurs everywhere. Why do you think you have so many saboteurs in Africa? Saboteurs, Yoruba, saboteurs, Wasa, saboteurs, Biafra. Why? Because they are not under oath. They are loyal to no man. They worship no God. Their God is their belly. And the only thing they desire is their money. That is the disadvantage. And of course, our people must understand how it functions. Oath taking must be respected. Because this is the only thing that will ensure our survival as a people. When we say, Ejimo Fona Aga or Fona Ogu, understand what we are trying to tell you. Don't look at it as demon. How many people can stand up today as a representative of the people and say, Where are the people with all four? But they will say it's evil. We simply ask him, where are men and women of justice? Maybe I'm wrong. But of course, our lives will be open any moment from now. And it's important. It's expected from all of us that we'll go back to Ofo na Ogu. We will go back to Ofo na Ogu. Don't let anybody deceive you. There is nothing demonic about that. But it helps you to have a sense of sincerity, a sense of justice, a sense of tranquility, a sense of doing the right thing. I'll be back in a minute. Oyabab Okurama, Oyabab Osonga, Oyabab Temnam.
lines are open how many men and women are still carrying or for how many men and women are still carrying or for as a governor as a politician you know what it means to carry or for and then you are doing this nonsense but you you don't talk about it it has been destroyed it has been compromised and then the people are misbehaving but i pub your phone and our form must be reinstated, reinstituted in our land, whether you people like it or not. These things terrify you. These things make you afraid, but you will not escape from it. The only way out is let your hand be clean. Because the enemy of Biafran, they are not going anywhere. Believe me. Our lines are open at this moment, and please, when you call me, tell me about our phone, Ogu. If you don't understand what it means, we explain for you, maybe you know the rename in your own community. Ofon Ogu. Tell me about Ofon Ogu. Please. Our WhatsApp line is 070-815-456-42. 070-815-456-42. Our direct line is 081-221-52971. 081-221-52971. It's our direct line. And the special number for the female is 081-288-58614. 081-288-58614 is the special number for the female. Call her on WhatsApp. Are you there? I am here. Hello. Good, e Good evening. Good evening from here. Go ahead, please. It's a very good pleasure getting you. I use this opportunity to thank IPOB worldwide, Walija Nandekano, Chime 4, Johnny Ben, and those working assiduously for the restoration of Biafra. As Johnny Ben, I must say, you are one in millions. You are bringing us back to what we lost, to our roots, to our ancient roots. This is what we do not understand in Nibo land. This is what we do not understand in Jaffa land. This is what we do not understand in the entire East. That we must go back to our roots. Now that of four and Dogu is what made our, our forefathers to live and they live peacefully. They live peacefully and Judgment was executed on those who felt naturally without much ado about people coming to be responsible for what happened to them. I you seen confessing before then, but this time around, civilization, what unnecessary civilization has killed us. It's solely this that will help us to come back to our root. We will come back to our root fully, we will be able to restore Biafra faster than we think. So I'm um, thanking you. Say may God bless you. May God bless all IPOB uh, workers working assiduously towards the restoration of Biafra. May God help us in Radio Biafra and that at the end Biafra will come. Thank you very much. 
I want to walk among men and women in the future that will tell me, and when you look at them in the face, you know that of the truth. They are under oath to defend their fatherland. Too much Yoruba blood everywhere. Too much Aosa blood everywhere. British government blood everywhere in Biafra land. How do we know? How do we know who these people are? Only with Ofonugu. Are you there? Call on the line. Good evening. This is female line. Uh, uh, how is the line? Uh, uh, line? Uh, uh, line? Uh, uh, line? Um, according to Bible, when you came with one Moses, Moses, all the way, all the way to a father, that is where it is called, the post, Moses, according to Bible, all the way to a father. Eh? We have one staff, we have one staff, we have one staff, which kind of staff? I said, because all the way to a broken, I leave you, they will ask you, oh, no, 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 Moses, Moses carried all four. With all four, he divided the Red Sea. With all four, he did miracle. Miracle is not in our land because they have destroyed your four no good. They are messing up the land, and the land will make them up. Allah has a right to make it down. Don't mind the one that's in it. Don't worry. It's a going to happen. I'm going to have you because that is still in my between the two. I mean, I'm going to 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 I'm your body will be touching the ground. So that if you mess up, it's a good thing that you will be able to do it. Because any time you will be able to do it, you will be able to do it. The truth about it is that, I say that, it will wipe out your third generation, which will be able to do it. After so, you will be able to mess up. You will be able to do it. You will be able to do it. Because in that way, I will say, eh? I'm the appetite will also look. But I don't know if one day I'm going to be to have it today. But to look at you, in an or research every day to bring out things that will move us, that will make this land better. But to some of them, I'm going to go to that place. Make me go there. I'm going to go to that place. I'm going to go to that place. I'm going to go to that place. Thank you very much. You continue your program that it is our duty it is our duty to talk if they like let them exactly. obey we have done our part thank you very much Thank you very much. So, that is the element that made human do. 
Then the fifth one is spirit. I'm a man see a cat who wants to intentional me, intentional me, intentional me, intentional like that. 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 Thank you very much. We must continue. Our people must understand the implication of this culture of our ancestors. Believe me, I have seen time where a full-grown woman will be naked and we don't even notice they are naked. Because if you were so much prepared that you don't yield to stupidity. You don't yield to nonsense. Because the influence of our Fonogu is all around you. Everybody knows there is consequence for their action. Today, looters are praised and worshipped in Nigeria. Looters are worshipped and appreciated all over the world. But here they talk about justice. They talk about equity. They talk about tranquility, transparency. Things they know nothing about because the very foundation of vow, the very foundation of oath taking, the very foundation of true bearing allegiance to one's nation. You don't know people who built America were under oath. People who built America were under oath, not that oath they take today. They have bastardized this anyway because the oath that brought Hillary Clinton, Theresa May, all these people into office they didn't build America. We could only wonder the oath that prepare people like George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, among others, men of dignity. Not start ruling America. Terrorists like Obama ruling America. You think they are under that oath, they are not dead. But of course, they always switch in those days of Ofon Ugu. Go and ask our leader. When we come here, we say, Emazi Mefor say the heart of this project will not see corruption. You think he's a dead man? You think you don't like enjoyment? You think you don't want that feeling when it in your account? But they understand what it means to go with a fun ugu. Because we understand in the real sense that everything that actually empowered us is originally meant to humble us. Because you have the power to do certain things doesn't give you the right to do that. Ofonogu. Ofonogu. Do you have it in your family? Do you have it in your family? Do you still recognize the implication of Ofonogu in your local communities? And now you know where we are coming from. Maybe you'll be able to appreciate where we are going to. Are you still there? Call on WhatsApp. Call on WhatsApp. Yes, Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah, good evening. Uh, I'm so happy, you know, so excited because, you know, I've been listening to you, but I want to use this opportunity to thank our leader, Mazen Nandekano, because I see how she started listening to Rudo Biafra. Rudo Biafra is the best university I've ever seen in this world, you know. Rudo Biafra is the best university. I thought that. To be, you know, an educator in so-called zoo university or even uh, secondary school or primary school, you know, those things is a waste of time. But anybody, any human being that want, any black race in Africa that want to reason that human being is supposed to be listening to Rudy Biafra. This is the best high institution for the whole world that can let your we black people to understand what's going on for the, for the for, you know, for 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 the world now, Mazo Ibe, I don't want to speak a big grammar. I want to break in a way that my people can we understand. Naka, it. Maybe how you want Naka. This of the day I saw Ibe Ma where they speak Abo. Yeah, I, 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 I respect <laughs> them. Mazo Ibe, my name is Ifa Enchiku. I am a I am a native uh, a born state. A born state, uh, you know. Uh, I am a native of uh, Amun. Amun is in a born state. That is a Bangladeshi province. So I, I'm I'm very happy since even last in, in the morning I listened to your last brokers. You know the way I'm feel I'm feel like I'm in heaven because I know that we don't get our freedom. I'm going back home 
because what I want you are seeing here, I'm calling you, I'm, I'm calling you right now, I'm calling you, from, I'm calling you here now, right now in Italy, because this Ofono Gu you are talking about, my brother, do you know the reason why we are suffering today? Because we abandon, we abandon our own way of life. My brother, in my own village, in my own village, when you are a man, when you are a young boy or young girl that want to get married, even as compared to you starting in my own village, if you want to get married, after getting married, you know, in, a, in, a, in our own traditional way, there is something that we talk, uh, you know, we say that it's the boom. Maybe in our way, they are, they will, you know, my own dad, they say, when they did that to you, you boy or girl, none of you that will go and sleep with another man, wife or another, maybe if you're a girl, you can sleep with another man. If you're a boy, if you're a man, you can sleep with another man's wife. You know what I mean? That thing is happening in my own village. And then, in my own village, I'm, I'm talking to you, it's happening there. But the reason why you see all these lunatics, all these our governor, council, or whatever they call themselves, they are doing all this they are doing, we don't, you know, we forget about our own tradition. I wish that we can go back to our own tradition. Whatever any person that want us to want to present us in, in any government, you have to go and swear. With your phone, because even in the court, the so called court, to hear what people they are not, those things that we see that they are not home, it's your phone. They, you know, they just, they, they just copy it for, for we black people. Because whenever you raise the offer up, whatever you see, you will face the judgment. That is your phone logo. My brother, I say, Mechuko Kadema bless you. And the Mechuko Kadema bless our leader, Mazin Nankanu. Mazun Nankano, even as I'm here, if Mazun is that I even if I can sacrifice my life to make sure that our leader will live to see Biafra come, I will do that for him because this oh, little oh. Biafra is, you know, this little Biafra, it don't open my eyes. Thank you very much. You don't you open much. my eyes. I, you know, I was, I was living like an animal. I thought that I'm living life, not know that. The thing that we are running out of it is what our, our great grandfather did that make us to live today. Thank you very much. So, my brother, thank you very much. I say, my chocolate, God bless you. Thank you very much, my brother. Thank you. I say, my chocolate, God bless you. And for a and and my deputy leader, Mazen, you people will live to see their friend. Thank, Thank you, you very much. You we must continue. People know, eh? Our people must understand. When they say, somebody say, I want to die for something. If you are not carrying or for no good, you cannot die for anything. No father can die for the son. No husband can die for the wife. No wife can die for the husband or the children. No governor will die for you. No community leader will die for you if they are not carrying or for no good. If they do not stand with the symbol of justice, truth and equity, they can't die for you. Let me tell you how it works. When your hands are clean, it is death that is afraid of you. Because there is this thought that will come from you. I'm not fighting to kill somebody. I'm not fighting to undermine anybody. I'm fighting for the good of everybody. And if I have to die for it, no problem. But, but at least my hands are clean. That is a for no good. This is the reason why many men and women were willing to lay down their life for a cause that is not of their own. For all they wanted is that in the end, they will know that whatever they have done was for the good of others, not even them. Because of all no good does not give you right to rule or oppress anybody, but rather to defend them. And then somebody say, hey, it's evil, it's evil, of all no good is evil. Are you there, Kola? On the line. My brother, Mad, This is the Asino brother from Liberia. The original, the original senior brother. Award winning man. Go ahead, please. The award winning Liberia man. And I know. Good evening, sir. First of all, I want to thank you for playing that uh, spiritual account for music that you played before you, you opened your phone. That music invigorates me because this is the type of music I was 
I was introduced to in 1964 when I was initiated into a Konko society or Ekbe, whatever, whatever they call it. So today I'm a full-fledged Ekbe man. And those of us that were initiated in Ekbe, we are being looked at as people that holds or for or Ogu. And on this year topic tonight, I love this very topic you, you see this night because it is a very touching uh, topic. You see, this Yoruba people, or even the white men that came, they saw that we had this offer and Ogu, and they spoiled it and then introduced us to their Bible. Right, right now in the Bible, the Bible recorded Moses when Tuku Okikabiyama himself gave him offer. Because the Bible said Tuku, uh, Moses was, when he saw that fire, and he was arguing with God, how can I go to Pharaoh? Well, who am I? How, what can I tell Pharaoh? Now, Tuku Okikabiyama asked ask, uh, Moses, what are you holding in your hand? Moses said, it is a staff. He said, it is a staff. It's okay, throw it on the ground. No it is all for, put yes. it in for, so people will yes. understand. Yes. It is all for, he told I'm God, hey, Jim, all for now, God, Moses told God. Oh, all for, God, God. 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 go ahead, please. Moses called it staff. Then God told him, throw it on the ground first. When Moses threw that uh, staff on the ground and it turned to a very big snake, that was when God infused the power of our God into that Moses staff. And then Moses picked up that staff, that snake, and it became his staff again. That was when the power of our God entered that staff. And that, from that minute, the Bible recorded what Moses was doing with that staff. First of all, he went to Pharaoh's palace, told Pharaoh, deeply my people, Pharaoh said, what are you talking? He threw his staff. That very staff now became a fork, and it turned to a very big snake. Then the magicians, according to the Bible, because I wasn't there, threw their own, and Moses of fork swallowed all those things. You know, it is recorded. So you use that offer to do so many things. Remember, I always insist that this history that is recorded in the Bible, these are things that happened so many thousands of years ago before it was recorded. Like as our leader used to tell us, Ephra has existed thousands of years before even the first civilization in Egypt. So these things happened in our place, in Biafra land, before it was recorded. This is what, something these white men have been hiding from us, including Yoruba pastors. They have been hiding it from us, that this offer emanated from Biafra land. No, no, there it, is it's no, a, it's a fool. They will say, go and bring it. They now pour anointing oil and shout arabakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakak
that is talking about Ofo and the Ugu. And he's also talking about I bless the name of the Lord. In short, anytime I see Mazunib, hear him, hear our director, I say this are God's general. I bless the name of the Lord. Because this God we are serving is the God of truth. Psalm 24 says, Who shall ascend unto the hill of the most high? That is of a clean heart and a pure heart. That shall stand in his holy place. When I was small, my grandfather was saying, when I sit, I'm just like somebody who is in the church. In short, I see he is preaching as a gospel as a church. I, I may even like to abandon church and listen to him. So I am so much grateful to God. And we shall achieve this Biafra. And when I came in, I was saying that everybody should mind his business. Everybody should be responsible to his own duty. When you do all these things, nobody will interfere to work on uh, 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 duty. You will mind your duty post. And that is why so many people are telling their brother, in short, I say, this our restoration. Build a new nation. A new nation that people will be coming from far and near other countries to know and ask, how is this thing done? And I know that God is raising a fire African countries that we make them to know that it is only good to stand in the word of God. And that is what we offer. So many people, when we pray to them, they say, that's good, that's good. I say, there is nothing wrong I see in God. The oath is of no good. God is a covenant. God is a God of covenant. He's a God of yeah. oath. He's a God of offer no good. English cannot deceive us. Thank you so, very much. I say, God will bless you. Bless you, Nande Kalo. God will bless you, Chemefo. God will bless you, Obi Diobeli. God will bless you, Nenayanya. Uh, all these are all these our principal officers on all IT. God will bless all of them. And I know what we are looking for is already here. Nigeria must bleed to death. They must bleed to death. They must bleed to shame, shame and disgrace and for that matter. Will be, yes, God will, hide, will be highly exalted. Thank you in very much. To name, I pray. You Continue see. your work. You the see. Lord will be with you. Lord. Yes. Call on WhatsApp. Are you there? Uh, good evening, Mas. Good evening from here. Go ahead, please. Uh, yeah, Dre. Uh, yeah, watching again. Amazon, if I want to tell you this or four we are talking of. Or four is it? Or four is it? Or four? Hello? Go ahead, Marzi. Am I coming out clear, sir? Go ahead, the word is listening. Uh, my name is Marzi. Yes, my name is Marzi Judy Chukwakiaba. Uh, this or four we are talking of. Or four is a sacred tree. And uh, uh, this Ogu you are hearing is also a sacred tree. It is only found in Israel. We call it Ogirish. That is, and Ofo is a sacred tree. So when you hear somebody that he say he is with Ofo, uh, it is not, I know that maybe some of people have spoiled their own Ofo because uh, it is not only, uh, everybody that can carry, carry off. Because if you are not truthful, if you do not, do not touch your phone, unless you want to kill yourself. So I, I want to tell our people, I know that many people have thrown, uh, thrown their offer away because of this uh, Yoruba church and all that. Thing. But at time, at time comes, we are going to, uh, educate them how they are going to bring the offer back 
focus or for is not something that you just uh, you say I'm with or for or ogu. And when you see black, you say it is green. And when you see it is green, when you see green, it is. So I want to tell our people, or for our people just a neighbor. Yeah, but more will in a good neighbor, each or four, no gay cabaret running a quesuku, and all one is your quack and a soggy. Yeah, the regular man watching it and there were very much there were. We must continue. The truth cannot be overemphasized. Our people must know this truth according to the Bible, and the truth will set you free. I need your phone now, God, nothing more, nothing less. The only thing destroying Nigeria, making Nigeria to go paranoid fooling themselves across the globe i understand that the owner of twitter refused to collect money from nigeria but we are waiting for all of them the owner of twitter refused to collect money from nigeria oh your phone aga zuga by facebook collected money oh law for but we are waiting for all of them call out from uh, australia are you there call out what's up good evening from here go ahead please yeah, good evening, my brother. Um, my name is Meletus EGK Udiaga. I'm calling you from Sydney, Australia. I, I, th I thank you so much for this really wonderful topic. And I only I want to just say one or two things. I did, I, to add to what, uh, what other people have said, uh, said so far. Our four logo is very important in our life. That is why our, our, our forefathers lived and lived older, lived longer than we can ever imagine. And the, the white men, they know this thing right on time. That is why they are doing everything, they did everything they could, including the Yoruba pastors, to destroy and uh, bastardize our, 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 our culture, naming it evil. You know, Moses, like uh, uh, the award-winning caller, caller said, is holding offer when God spoke to him. And when he dropped his offer on the ground, the offer turned to a very big snake. And when he met Pharaoh, he did the same thing and Pharaoh laughed and so, brought all the sorry. You see, you when, when, Jesus, when Jesus say, accept your righteousness, exceed that of the Pharisee, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. It was simply telling them, except your hand is as clean as that of the Pharisee. Which means the Pharisees were yeah. more, their hands were clean more than those of people claiming to be children of God at that time. And it's like Moses, uh, it's like God saying, except your offer is as big as that of Moses, you will not cross the Red Sea. Yeah. But the moment we miss the concession the behind this right. evil, because everything about us has been demonized, we lose the basic principle, yes. the very fabric upon which the foundation of our existence is laid upon. Go ahead and sorry for interrupting you, my brother. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. So, when Moses did the same thing, and the Pharaoh brought all his magicians to do the same thing, something significant happened. His snake swallowed all the snakes of other magicians. And that is exactly what our deputy leader is doing today. I like that man that, that used to come from, 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 uh, from Europe. Onyezioku. He has destroyed Nigeria with truth. That Nigeria is paranoid today and doing gravity and doing all, all this inside, trying to frustrate IPOB is because one man stood firm and said, Ejimo we will not allow Ejimo for, for, uh, and I yeah, will not yeah, allow the hand of four to four. One man stood yeah. and said Ejimo four, another stood behind us so I will support this or four to the end. When they tell you when Moses was yeah. on the mountain fighting the Amalekites, he was with your four, his hand got tired. Joshua supported him, others supported him with the other hand. One man said Ejimo four, another one say I will protect the yeah. four. God bless you, my brother. Go yes. ahead, please. Just, just because of one man, the whole nation has turned into into eyes. They, in fact, they, 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 they want to kill themselves. But I thank God. That is why when, when people compare our leader with Moses, I don't like it. Because you can only compare Moses with Uche before. Or Afia Nesia, he is, he is the Moses. But our leader, you can only compare him with Jesus, Jesus Christ. Any, anybody can say whatever they, 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 they like. I, I don't care. What has Jesus Christ done that our, that our leader has not, has not, has not done? Is it because he's a black man? So, our follow-up, the reason, the reason why we are here today, because I, Jezo Konaga, 
and the so kwan why the aga is why the Nigerian government is trying. In fact, they, in fact, they are paralyzed all over. They, all their secret has been exposed. And I thank you so much for what for all the series of this week because this week is loaded. It's, it's a bomber pa pa package for our people. And I thank you so much for that. I get Jesus Naga because which came before Jesus Naga. He he swallowed all those saboteurs. He swa his his truth swallowed swallowed the uh, um um um. Uh, what was his name? Uh, Irwanda, when our leader was, was was kidnapped by the by the zoo by the zoo zoo DSS, he stood firm, and his staff of fire swallowed that of Irwanda, even Mezu, and all, to, to say the least, he swallowed the Nigerian government entirely. So they are they are surprised because they had never seen a man like that. We should always reference him. If I see him tomorrow, I will bow before him. Because he deserves it. He's a man. He's a he's a he's a god in human flesh. I adore him for everything that he has he has done. Because he brought us, he has made us. If he has compromised back then, I don't think we will be here today doing what we are doing. But I thank him so much. So our thank four is very, very very important. Without our four, we cannot go anywhere. Like in my, in, like like in, my, in, in, my, in those days, like the little the little I know. And that is a place where they are settling a uh, dispute or whatever. It is the Zes and the and the houses. They will come when they come and speak, the judgment will be passed. That is, is in the old, old day. But today we have warrant, warrant, warrant houses and warrant warrant in Zes, including warrant chiefs. There is no truth anywhere. That is why our governors are messing up here and there. Do you know what In those know. days of our fall, no Ogu, any they of them, not. the day they put their no. feet on our land, they will run mad. They, they will run mad. Followed. You know, they will run Thank mad. Thank you very much, my brother. Like, we must continue. Like in, a, in my place where I come from, we call it Ajija. When you do anything wrong, Ale, Ale, we call it Ajija. Ajija will hold you. You will start talking. Saying some, some, some uh, yeah, is, you start confessing because Allah has hold you, which is which is Ajija. I, I, in our place, they say Ajija has has uh, 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 is, is holding him or her. So it is very important, and that is why our people are running away from it. This is the basic of what we are doing, and that is the nucleus of IPOB. We stand on the truth, and we will forever stand on the truth. And the zoo will be destroyed. They will be brought to their knees. They will bleed shame and disgrace. Before they, before they, before they will finally die, in the name of Chukukukabiama. He said, he said, he said. Thank you very much. Please, Mazonibe, uh, 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 please, uh, just give me one more minute again. Um, I, I want to use the opportunity to announce our upcoming meeting, Sydney IPOB meeting. It's coming up this Sunday on the twenty-first of November. Please, the venue is Three Great Western. Highway Prospect 2148. Three Great Western Highway Prospect 2148. Prospect Hotel. Come there in case if you need a, a, a ride or if you, if you need a ride, just make your way to Black Town's train station or Seven Hills train station. Give me a call and I will arrange someone to come and pick you up. My number is 04. 04 Zero uh, 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 four three seven one six five seven six zero four four three seven one six five seven six. Mazi Ejike is my name. Thank you very much, and God bless you, my brother. Thank you. We are going home, and there is no two ways about that. Our people must remain focused. Our people must understand why we are here. The reason why we are here. Are you there? Call on the line. Good evening, sir. Ada, good evening from here. Go ahead, please. It's the brother from Aba in Jafra land. I want to give this report. I suppose like this. You know that full and dead men they have arrived to summer. Children. They have started up a business selling pure water. Selling pure water all over the summer. So I'm um, just telling my people that they should be careful about how the guys 
they will get things from them, how they will buy their goods. Especially, most especially, buying pure water from them. Their children have filled up with soma, so they should be careful about protecting them. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. We must continue. Caller on WhatsApp, are you there? Yes, Mazi. Good evening, sir. Go ahead. Mazi, uh, your topic this night is very, very wonderful. And I must, I, must, I must commend you for that. Is it me? Okay, sir. So, back to our root. That is what brings this Ofonog. As, as, as a little child, I was growing up noticing that every family has offer during my days as I was growing up. Even it, happen, it happens to when Christianity first came in, when uh, uh, Deeper Life Assemblies of God redeemed, started coming into many families and scattering the families. Even what in our family because of it. Do you know who collected the offer? Our first daughter from the family, we are in marriage to another village. They went there to call the first son of that woman. He is the one who come and carried the offer because everybody in the family rejected it because of Christianity, without knowing that that is the reason why our forefathers... Which, our which fathers, means now that the symbol of truth and justice in your family have been taken to the next community. But less, you people should be grateful that they didn't... Yoruba didn't marry that your sister or our sir. The Ofonogu in charge of your community would have been in the control of our sir Fulani. The same way Ikenga is in London now, and many people don't know. Ikenga gave us, British gave us Bible, and they took Ikenga away. Did you not know the symbol of Ikenga is the, the same symbol of Android? Android? Our people need to wake up, but they, of course they shall. Go ahead, please. Ma Maazi, Maazi, this, in fact, eh, thanks to for our leader who have come to open our eyes, who have come to take us back to the root where our forefathers live. I was growing up understanding that then you will leave your goat outside, you go to market, nobody will tip your goat, nobody will, because there is offer in every family, there is offer in every kindred, every community. When anything happens, the, even the chief or the, the Igwe will call the whole village, everybody will come out, he will bring his own offer that is supersedes every other offer in that village. He will bring it and he said everybody will swear. If you know, you know nothing about this, come and swear. And you see people that their hands are very neat, they will swear. Those that know things about it will start confessing. But they destroy it through Christianity and our life, our land destroyed. I was growing up seeing that governors pay Igwe's, Igwe's, Obas, Igwe's, Ezes, homage, not Ezes paying governors homage. homage. Because Today when now they are going to beg money. Huh? Yes, yes. That is because when you become a governor, you come there, he will pray with your offer for you, that that office, you will be there for your tenure and you will serve the community. But today is no longer the same. Maze, in fact, Chuko Kikabia Magoziegi, Gozonye Nduayi, Gozie Oso Diabu Chemofo, and Donyo Banana Wampo. Because I got in the world, why in our Babayan Allah Biafra? Thank you very much. We must continue. Yes, uh, Maze, on WhatsApp, are you there? I am here. Good evening, my brother. Go ahead, please. Good evening, good evening, all here, Biafra. My name is Nelson Tukura, and I'm calling from London. Um, I've been listening to your show this evening, and I strongly feel that I need to contribute my own thoughts on this effort that Igbo people call. I don't know what it means, but listening to everyone, I can resume with something we call Igbisu in our own dialect, Ijo dialect. As short, as simple as short. Yeah, so, um, like I've 
like I'm about to say, I remember when I was a little boy, our people were so pure that if they go to the river, not just normal river, they go to sea, and if their boat covered side or sank in the sea, can you believe that sometimes these people can stay in the river for two, three days? They will not die. They will come back alive. People, they, they, we will even declare them missing that we cannot find them. Sometimes we even find the boat, but we cannot find these people. These people are so pure, they come back alive. This basic thing I'm, gonna, I'm about to say is that it's a war, we call it a war spirit that Ijo people had back in the days. This cloth is either red or white cloth that from the bottom you have to cut what you can use to tie your head or your, your hands or your waist. When, before you take this cloth, there's, there's, there's conditions that you have to keep. One, well, I, I will not remember all the conditions, but I, I remember that one of them, you cannot sleep with, sleep with a, a, a woman with uh, menstruation. So a woman with a period, you cannot sleep with her. You cannot eat oil food. You cannot steal, which means if you go to war with that cloth in your hand, you cannot commit any other crime, i.e. stealing. There are a lot of things that we were blessed with, but today they're gone. Our people were so pure back in the days that lies and deceit were not their, their common things. But now everything is upside down. Look, every day I listen to your pro program, Jojo Yimbe, I learned so much things that we should be taking ourselves back in the days when people are so pure. When you know that you cannot lie, because if you lie, a person will kill you. Ogoni will kill you. There are things that you know that if someone call it on your head to say, look, if you are lying, this is going to hurt you. You will not even dream to even lie about it. But yet we've left all our blessings or we left all our things that God has blessed us with and followed these white people's religions. I was watching a program on TV, that, well, on, on um, um, WhatsApp, where I saw Israelis using fowl to run kids or, you know, use the fowl. The, the, the fowl is alive. They will use the fowl to go around on someone's head, go around two, three times, and they throw the fowl away. Those are the similar kind of things we used to do back in the days. But now all those cultures are gone. Look, I want to thank... Nam Dekano and our deputy leader, and especially you, George Ohimbe, that you are educating our people every day. It will take the grace of God to know that these things you guys are doing, it is a divine project that by the grace of God, our people will wake up and see this truth that you guys are preaching every single day on this Radio Biafra platform. I am so grateful. I am so grateful that my generations, I want them to be part of this. Because without Biafra, we are nowhere. Without Biafra, we are not going anywhere. We will be forgotten. But I thank God that by the grace of God, we're going to see Biafra in our own generation. I am so grateful you will not understand. Sometimes I listen to your program and I realize that these guys are telling us the truth. They speak the truth. The truth that has been hidden from us for years and years. I am appealing to every job person. I'm appealing to every Urubu man, each Chakiri person that are still blind with this one Nigeria attitude should wake up and realize that without Biafra, we will not go anywhere. And I pray that every day, that one day, one day, we will all join hands together and fight for our freedom. I will stop so that other people will take up from there. I thank you very much. God will bless you, George Onyibe. Mm -hmm. Carry on the good work that you're doing. It is only God that will give you the wisdom and the spirit to do what you're doing. No man can do what he's doing, believe me. Even the people that listen to you get tired, but you never get tired because you're a divine person. God bless you. Thank, thank you very you. much. Self-awareness is self-recovery. Self-recovery is the freedom that we seek for that we might be the author of our destiny. Our people must understand the simple truth. 
irrespective of the symbols our ancestors used to present their culture and tradition before us, they remain the best, the purest among all. Trying to demonize us will not take us anywhere because we have come to a conclusive end where we in IPOB, we the Biafran people have decided, no matter how evil our mothers and father may be, we will love them eternally. We will remember them, those who died protecting this culture, who died protecting our identity, who died because of the Biafra. Everybody must return home. Everybody must return home. All hail Biafra. I will be signing up temporarily. Of course, I will come back in a few minutes from now. But at the same time, stand by. I can see my people in rivers. I also see my people in the town. West River and Aquaiba. I can see my people in the town. I can see my people in the town. I can see my people in the town. I also see my people. Oh, my God. 